guys, we're starting to make this. <laughs> no, no. no, we're not doing that. Hi guys, it's April from Mama Loves Food and Dinner Hero.com. This is Nicholas. He's my helper today in this apocalyptic kitchen. We're gonna make some. What are we gonna make? Do you know? Shepherd's pie. We're gonna make shepherd's pie. There's a version on the website, mamalovesfood.com slash shepherd's pie. It's linked in the description. Um, and there's also a version in our book, Dinner Hero, that you can see right there. Go to dinnerhero.com. The one on the website calls for a little bit more fresh. Yeah. The hey Kelly. The uh, one on the website calls for a little bit more fresh ingredients. The one on Dinner Hero is um, more canned food friendly. Um, both are delicious. We're going to do a little bit of a hybrid today. All right, so I'm going to pop over here super quick and do some sharing. Oh, you know what I forgot, Nicholas? What? I forgot. I forgot a seltzer. Can I have one? Not the kind I want. Do you know what kind I want? The Bud Light seltzer. I want the one that I had last time. Yeah, you can have a regular seltzer if you get me a Bud Light seltzer. What are, this what is it, what kids are good for. What, are, what do they look like? In the fridge. The one that says Bud Light Seltzer and then the one that says LaCroix. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and find where we're at. And we're going to get going. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Give me one second. We're just going to get... We're going to get rolling. I have to wait till it shows up on Facebook before I can really get started. Otherwise, 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 otherwise. I get a whole lot of people going, mm, what's going on? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Also, one of my kids ran away with my phone. You guys, have your kids been FaceTiming like maniacs? My kids, there we are. My kids have been FaceTiming everyone and anyone they can. Um, so my phone is nowhere to be found right now. That's fine, though. We'll figure it out. Okay. Is this it? Is what it? <gasps> Look at you. Good job. We've got a Bud Light Seltzer and a non-Bud Light Seltzer. Grandma's on. Say hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Say hi, Miss Karen. Grandma, not Grandma Mimi. Uh, Grandma Diane. This is this. I mean, is Grandma not Mimi might be on, but I don't this is not see. for me. It's for this. Oh, okay. All right. So apparently, Facebook is not working on my computer right now. That's okay. That's okay. Bye. Kelly, can you do the sharing for me, please? That would be awesome because nothing's working over here. All right. We're gonna do some shepherd's pie. Everything's linked, watch out, everything's linked in the description if you want the recipe. And here we go. So glad to have this. I know two, three times in one week. Did you catch our coffee chat this morning? We're going to go ahead and I'm turn so this on. so glad to have this. He's so glad to have that. Legos are a godsend this week. <laughs> Hi from Buffalo, Miss Roxanne. Roxanne. Hi, Angelina. All right, we're going to turn this bad boy on. Hi, everybody. I apologize. This does have kind of a loud fan, so I'll try to talk over it. We're going to start with ground beef. We've got our frozen ground beef. Give us hearts. He wants hearts. How old are you, Nicholas? What is happening here? Six. You're six. That is true. Um, so there's oh. our ground beef. That's about a pound of ground beef. He wants to be eight, but he's six. Eight, He'll eight. get there. Hope you're great. Eight, eight. Hope you're great. <laughs> I miss the chat. Hope there's more. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do the chats every morning. Maybe not on the weekends, but um, Give we're us gonna try. Thumbs too. Thumbs too. Hearts and thumbs he wants. Okay. If I can get this thing going, if somebody could share it into the group, that would be super great too. All right, we're gonna get that going. I'm gonna cut an That's onion. Watch out, because this is gonna get hot. Okay. Hot, hot. Hope you're hot. All right, what are what are we doing? Hey, what are we doing, guys, to survive? What's the? I've heard cottage pie is what most of us make. That is true. Um, so technically, we are making cottage pie because we're using ground beef and not lamb. Although we have some lamb, should we put some lamb in? Yeah, lamb, lamb, Let's put lamb, some lamb, 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 lamb. We've got some leftover lamb. We can do that. Lamb is good. Lamb is good. We'll make sure nothing nothing goes to waste in this new post-apocalyptic world. Uncle Tom loves it. I just asked him if we had peas. Ah, oh, awesome. We have peas. We do have peas. We're gonna put it in the, in the shepherd's pie. All right, so this is leftover lamb from the other day. If you want this recipe, it's just uh, the lamb marinade on the one. website. And you have one, what, a piece of lamb? Yeah. No, you can use your hands. I'm not, you're not a dog, there you go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut some of this lamb up. Toss it in. This is chewy. It is chewy. I am super chewy. Super chewy? Super chewy. So when I was making
bacon is lamb. I used the lamb marinade and then I cut it into small pieces because I was going to do kebabs. But then I couldn't find my kebab skewers anywhere. So then I just did it. I put a big um, cast iron pan on the grill and did it in there. Smells and I was good. just going to, I was just going to, you know, brown each side really, real quick on the really high heat. And I'm browning them and then all of a sudden it's like, Cooling, lots of liquid and I'm like this isn't supposed to happen when the heat's as high as it is and I look you guys my propane tank had run out so this will fix it was the a world. little it was cooked a little bit that's gonna fix the world I love it he's inventing things to fix the world no I'm not I have never heard of cottage pie so cottage pie is technically what we make cottage pie is made with ground beef they do. Uh, shepherd's never. pie is oh. made with lamb yeah. not, um but bumps the and you're talking about um, but in, in the United States, everybody typically calls anything like this shepherd's pie. Um, but over in Ireland and the UK, if you said shepherd's pie, you would get lamb. What's up, baby? What can I do? What can you do? How, do you want to put the lamb in when we're ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep cutting it up, and then when it's ready, you can put it in, okay? So what's everybody having for dinner tonight? Hmm? And Don, pie. Aunt Don says hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> hi. I'm glad you think that's funny. How many people did you FaceTime with today? Where's our... Mm -hmm. hmm? 74? One. 248? One. Just one. One. For like four hours? Yes. Coley's best friend's name is Dante, and he... And Dante spend a whole lot of time on the phone. Thank goodness. Can you imagine if this had happened pre-FaceTiming? Whew. Pre-technology. <laughs> Angelina. All kids are amazing. I mean, I think mine are. I'm super biased, but... Um, it Angelina. All kids are amazing. All right. Can so I, I drained all the fat off this, so it's a little bit dry. I'm going to go ahead and put um, some oil in here. Just a touch. I'm gonna shrink. You're gonna shrink. Oh no. Oh, careful. <laughs> shrink a little too far. Made yeah. some cabbage, kielbasa, and fried potatoes. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'll shrink this one. We had a little bit. You bumped? No, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hurt yourself. Uh, we made we had a we made a bunch of cabbage um, last week, and I ended up putting the leftovers in that. You know, everything in the kitchen sink soup came out really good. All right. Steak, mushrooms, and onions. Ooh, that sounds delicious. The only reason I mentioned it, I got confused. Ah, I'm sorry. I assume you're talking about the shepherd's pie thing? I'm glad you mentioned it. I think it's really fun to learn new things. and um, So, yeah, don't ever be hesitant to Everyone make ask this. a question. Oh, bonk. Everyone make this. I think that's a great idea. Do you think everyone should buy the book too? You okay? Hold on, we got one more to cut. Then you can dump it, okay? Do we spread it all around? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can stop now, please. That's real gross. I live with a lot of boys. We miss you too. Uncle Todd is cooking tonight. Four awesome. boys. Four One girl. Boys. Okay. So Five boys. Daddy lives here too. All right, you going to put that in? Be very careful. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. 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 Okay.
Take a sip of your drink. Yeah. Alright, anyway, sorry, those of you just tuning in, I'm April from MamaLovesFood.com and DinnerHero.com. We are making, what are we making? Cottage pie. Cottage pie, but I'll, shepherd's pie, yeah. Shepherd's, oh, so close. shepherd's cottage pie. Well, we've got lamb and beef in it, so it's kind of both. Alright, so we've got... Should I mix it? We've got ground beef. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in here because, like I said, the beef was drained. And cheesy broccoli soup. Yum. 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 Garlic? All right. Let's, let's, okay, mommy's turn, mommy's turn. Uh -huh. I know, but we need to get this onion to caramelize just a little bit. This right? has to taste it. That's going to taste it. Did you build it a tongue? No. No? Uh-oh. How's that going to work? We're going to toss some garlic in here. You can use fresh garlic or um, pre-minced like we're using. If you're in a pinch. Smells good, right? It does smell good, doesn't it? If you're in a pinch. And you guys. I don't know if they can smell it. you think they can smell it? It does smell good. Can I mix it now? Yeah, gently. Uh, if you're in a pinch, you could also use onion, I mean, uh, garlic powder or even garlic salt. But just be careful with the garlic salt not to over salt things. It smells so good. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> you're gross. You're so gross. Oh, oh, oh that looks well done. Okay, so normally I would have done the onions first, but since the meat was frozen, I kind of wanted to get the meat unfrozen too. So we're not really going in the super exact Hi. order. But, hi Rosario, how are you? I apologize, I can't see the comments super well. Give us hearts. Um, and thumbs up. Cool. Because one of my kids ran off with my phone. Mom. And what? Talk to me. Are you going to change that? I'm oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. Wait, I'm not, I'm too high. <laughs> What is our quarantine beverage of choice, folks? So you use ground, yeah, today I used ground beef and then we had some leftover lamb in the fridge, so I went ahead and chopped that up and put it in. The recipe, by the way, is linked in the description. So if you click share and share this video to your wall, and then um, you'll be able to see all the links really easily. Can you what? Can you gonna stir a little bit? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make some mashed potatoes. Now, this is a pretty heavily seasoned dish, so I don't worry too much about seasoning. Oh, I have to eat mashed potatoes. Yeah, oh, it's part of the dish. Um, okay, don't flip it, though. Use your, there you go, stir okay, okay. nicely, okay? Um, so I don't worry too much about seasoning the potatoes, because everything is going to come together and have a lot of flavor. Um, so we're going to just use potato flakes. As one does. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. And Hi. then um, this is chicken stock that we made the other night after we made a whole chicken. So we're going to go ahead and heat this up, mix them together, and do some real quick instant potatoes. And I'm going to use a Alright, we can put this over here. And try. No, 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 just yet. We'll put it, we'll put it in the um, compost. 
close. Alright, we're almost there. Okay, so now we're going to put a can of diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. That's what it is? Yeah, you can pour it. Let me open it first, okay? All of it? All of it. Be very careful. And this will deglaze the bottom of the pan, too, if you've got some food stuck down there or whatever. Stop it, Casey. Casey's being silly. It smells good. He's just saying it smells good. You're doing a good job. Um, so this will help unstick all that, like, kind of a little bit of burnt stuff at the bottom. No, I'm smelling it. Smelly person is weird. Smelly person is weird? What does that mean? All right, gently pour this in. Okay. I.e. you. The whole thing. Good. Make sure you're over the middle. There you go. Dump it in. Dump it. Just dump it. Just dump it. Just dump it. There we go. <laughs> I did. You did. Yeah. You did it. Not me. Okay. All right. We're gonna mix this in. Now we gotta eat. Not quite ready to eat. I am drinking a little what something. What's happening? <laughs> Hi from Washington. How are you guys holding up out there in Washington? Okay, so in the ooh, I just I just told told him not to do it, and then I flung me everywhere. Um, so in the cookbook and on the website, it's gonna tell you I think to use use more, use more ranch dressing mix if I'm not mistaken. I don't have it up right now. I forgot to buy ranch dressing mix, and guess what? You can't get ranch dressing mix these days. So I'm gonna use a okay. So on the website, it calls for a mix of beef bouillon and ranch dressing mix. Yay. Um, we are going to substitute that with some onion soup mix, which has beef bouillon in it, or I should say has a beefy flavored bouillon, I don't know if it actually uses beef, um, and it's got a lot of flavor, so that's going to work in lieu of the ranch dressing mix for us tonight. So, um, yeah, I feel like these days we're going to have to substitute a little bit here and there. Are you okay? And that's tonight's substitution. <laughs> so we're going to mix that in. And this one's got those dried onions in it. So you want to make sure it's wet enough that it will um, Can I mix? absorb the water. Because we don't want crunchy onions Can I mix? in there. Yep, go ahead and mix up. And then we're also going to... Bum, ba, da, ba, mixed veggies. That's a lot of mix. We're not going to use the whole bit. But not the whole bag. That's probably good. Alright, mixed veggies. These are frozen. They're frozen? What should we do about that? Mix them up so they thaw, okay? Mix them up really well. Here, let me wait for a minute. I'll get the back to you. We're gonna, These are frozen. We're going to fold them in. You see that? Just fold it in. <laughs> Wait, can I hold this? Yeah, go ahead. You can hold it. Not that hot. Is it hot? It shouldn't be hot. Yeah, it's not that hot. Can I pick it up? Alright. Hi, Miss Lynn. Can you say hi, Miss Lynn? Hi. Who even is Miss Lynn? She's my friend. Mommy and Daddy go on vacations with Miss Lynn sometimes. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Hi, her friend. All right, so we've got ground beef, lamb, just because we had leftover lamb. You can make your own ranch dressing mix. You absolutely can make your own ranch dressing can mix. Can I mix now? Um, and I probably will do that at some point, but right now I had onion mix readily available, so that's what we're using. But yes, that's an excellent, excellent nice. idea. Um, if you can't find the seasoning mixes at the store right now, you can absolutely, go ahead, you can absolutely make your own. Okay, no, 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 remember, oh, sorry, I didn't mention these. Remember what I said about flinging? We're gonna go, hold, hold the thing. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom and gently move it around, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab the chicken stock out of the microwave. Like this? Mm -hmm. So this is nice and warm now. It does not have to be boiling or scalding. Gently, gently. Okay. Nope, now they're not frozen. Perfect. So what we're going to do, 
Okay. We're going to put these at the bottom of our casserole dish, okay? Ready? Watch out. I'm going to turn this off. This is going to be a little bit hot, so we're going to scoot it out of the way. Hotter? No, no, no. We're, um, so this is a induction, conduction, induction, Condu convection not my burner, thing. so it doesn't get super hot, but it gets a little bit hot. Okay. Can you scrape everything in for me? Oh. Oh, oh grab it for the place. gets it. Give it a rinse. Give it a rinse. Give it a rinse, please. <laughs> oh, Lynn has no sound. Boo. And Lynn got a hello, too. <laughs> yeah? Yep, perfect. Okay, turn the water off. Wet. Yeah, it's fine. The water won't hurt it. Okay, so he's going to, I know my hand's in the way, so it's not the best, but he's going to gently, there you go, no, okay, so, but with, go ahead and get in there and push it, honey, don't, not one at a time. There you go, big push. There you go, good job, keep going, keep going, keep going, That's a lot. keep going, all of it, we want all of it in there. Okay, keep going, all of it. Can you there you go. Um, so, what do you do if you don't have ground beef? What do you do? Not a problem. You can use chicken. You can use turkey. You can use canned chicken. You can use any. You can type. use spam. You can use any type of chicken. Any type of meat, right? Just yeah. about any type of meat would be delicious in this. Okay. What if you don't have any meat? No big deal. You can totally do this all veggie, right? I, if you've got some rice, maybe mix a little bit of rice in it for that a meaty. That would be awesome. A meaty texture. Um, if you've got mushrooms, okay. mushrooms are great for, do you want a sticker? Sure, you can have a sticker. Yay! Um, mushrooms are great, uh, beans, you could do beans on the bottom, there's lots of options. What do you do if you don't have peas? Skip the peas. What do you do if you don't have carrots? Skip the carrots. What do you do if you don't have onion? Skip the onions. Look at that. He's so smart. Learn so fast. All right, we're gonna bring this back over here. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna pour our warm chicken stock. Can I pour, pour, pour? No, this is very heavy. But you can help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Hold it. Help me hold it. There you go. No, that's hot. Hot. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hold my hand. There we go. Tip it. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's so much. But there's still more. No. Hold this. Are you gonna help me? All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna slowly put in our potato flakes until it turns into mashed potatoes. Like that's. We just went into effect today in Cali. Yeah, we haven't officially gone in, um, but we we've been in our house has been because I'm very nervous and also um, our neighbor has presumptive positive and we have been around her within the last two weeks. So we're gonna be real careful. Stay away from everyone and assume that you're infected, right? Not be assumed that you're infected. Assume you're infected. That way you won't infect anybody Wait, else. Wait, let me see. Wait, how am I, I just want to make sure we get the middle, okay? What's up? Yeah, we're live. You can come say hi to me. All right. What are we making, Mom? Shepherd's pie. Oh, shepherd's pie. We're mixing yes. this in there. I know. I know. They know what shepherd's pie is. <laughs> yep, you can keep going. I just want to make sure I don't overdo it. <laughs> I heard about Alaska, but I didn't hear about California. Yes, Pioneer Woman. I love her stuff. She's so nice. She's so nice. Alright, that's good. We got it. That's good. I think it needs to mix it more. Yeah, I mean, it needs to be mixed. But can I have a mix? Oops. Uh, no, not right now, okay? You can help me next hey, time. Hey, can though. you save me a lot of shit or something? I mean, we're going to eat dinner together. Are you not going to eat dinner with me? No, I mean, like... People go up for thirds, tell them, back off. Steven gets to get thirds <laughs> first. Because Steven. Alright, and then we're just gonna smooth is the one this on only top. The best. Like icing. Ooh. Can I, can I, can I? Yeah, can he, can he, can he? Well, then I'll put it on you and spread it, okay? How's that sound? Yeah, all my packages are here. I know, I heard. Wait, That's do I tie it by your hands? No, no, not with your hands. With the, I'll give you the spoon when I'm done, okay? I realize I measured nothing while we were doing this, but I promise if you get the cookbook or if you go on the website and get the recipe there, 
There are lots of very exact measurements. So there's no guesswork. It's all there. Can I? But we've made this a lot of times, so I have a pretty good idea how what? to make it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, how many times have you eaten? A lot of times, right? Once, because this is the first time. Oh, really? This is the first time you've eaten this? How do you know it's delicious, then? Because it smells good. I mean, that's fair. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I know, but you're not you're not doing it. You're just kind of like petting it. I push it down. Oh, okay. I'll push mm -hmm. it down. Okay. Let's get the rest of this. Spatula is a penny pincher's best friend, right? Because there is a solid scoop of mashed potatoes left in here that we would not have gotten. Okay, no, no, no. We're not mixing it. We're just ooh, stop, stop, stop. Flat end, pushing it down. Pushing it down like icing a cake. There you go. See? Hazel has messenger? Oh, that's exciting. Anyway, we want to get every little bit, especially right now, when every little bit counts. Every little bit should always count, but. Now, especially. Okay. Can we help you? No. No? I'm just going to help you anyway. Ooh! All right, so give me thumbs up if you're a no cheese on top and hearts if you're a cheese on top. Cheese on top, I give you a heart. <laughs> Steven gives us a heart for cheese on top. Okay, okay, you're done, you're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Thank you. You gonna eat the mashed potatoes? You can eat them, it's fine. It's not icing, it's mashed potatoes. All right, it's so we good. have iced our, it better taste good. Hey, Ma hey, hearts. Mommy's got, homemade stuff. Got hearts. Lots of hearts. Yeah, All right. And cheese on top. Cheese on top. Here you go. You want to lick this one too? No. No, just the one. It's raining want. potatoes. Okay. I, I agree. We are definitely a cheese on top family. So we are going to cheese on top. There you go. Kelly just put a link to the recipe. Someone Every little no bit definitely counts. Absolutely, Lynn. I am like a leftovers <gasps> crazy person right now. Nothing I... goes uneaten. No, 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 no. There's nothing to stir. I'm just, just spreading it over. And then we're going to do that. Gently. And we're going to eat that. No, then we're going to put it in the oven. We're done. How do you th what do you think? Did we do a good job? Yep. High five? Thanks for helping me at dinner, dude. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us and making dinner. We're going to pop this in the oven, then we're going to eat together, right? Yeah. Family dinner? What's happening right now? Why are you pinching me? It feels good. Mm. Um, I'd love if you visited the website, mamalovesfood.com. I'm the older one. You're what? The older one. You're the oldest one? <laughs> He's the baby. Um, no, I'm not. Mamalovesfood.com. If you want, if you're if you're not a confident cooker, no big deal. I taught myself to cook uh, about 15 years ago in a panic when uh, when I needed to, and I put all of that knowledge into a uh, very easy to read book. It tells you how to stock your pantry, teaches you how to cook from your pantry. Perfect for a time like this. It wasn't written for this time, but it works perfectly. Dinnerhero.com. You can get the ebook immediately. It'll get sent to you right away. Or if you prefer a physical book, we've got a um, binder version that can get mailed to you. Or we have a combo. You can do that too. Anyway, have a great night, guys. Um, I might pop on tomorrow morning for Coffee Talk. If not, I'll see you Monday. Have a great night. You're all gorgeous.